Hi, in this mini screencast, we'll take a look at two new endpoints that have been added to the Conductor API, namely instances and front-end realms. At the moment, we have implemented only the read actions for these endpoints. Create, update, and delete will be coming along in future sprints. There are issues entered for them in GitHub if you'd like to track their progress. Instances and front-end realms have been added to the API entry point, and we see them here. Front-end realms, instances. First, let's take a look at front-end realms. For the purposes of this demo, I created two front-end realms using the conductor UI. At the top level from the API, we see the full resource representation, one entry for a mock realm and one entry for a EC2 realm. Along with the name and description, we also see mapping to provider realms, as is the case with the mock realm, or mappings to providers, which is the case with the EC2 realm. To see a single realm, we can go directly to its URL. Next, let's take a look at instances. Again, for the purpose of this demo, I created a single instance deployment through the conductor UI. At the top level, we see the full resource representation. The fields that are currently available are name, external key, hardware profile, pool, deployment, the public and private IP addresses, and they are currently blank because DBOmatic is not running in my setup. The time the instance was created, the time it was last updated, the assembly XML, instance config XML, and user data if they are available. Some fields have been omitted. Discussions about state are still ongoing, so for now it is not displayed. The instance owner or user will be added once the user endpoint is ready. Image UUIDs or references to them will be shown after TIM integration is done. And instance history will be included once a events endpoint is available. So in summary, we've implemented the read capabilities for front-end realms and instances but there is still a good amount of work left to be done. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.